Hey guys, uh, sitting here at the Dodge dealership here in Kingsport. I'm getting some recalls done on my car, and uh, ran across a gentleman that reminded me of me back in the day, and uh, I recognized one of the mechanisms I used to alleviate some of my PTSD throughout the day, so I thought I'd tell you about it. So, I've been here since about 9 o'clock, and it is currently, I don't know, like 1240, 1245, and uh, about 1130, this guy pulls in, goes in, drops his car off at, at a service, comes into the waiting room over there, and about... 15 minutes goes by and he's looking out the window every five minutes. They haven't brought my car in yet. They haven't brought my car in yet. And I said, oh, yeah, well, well, what's going on? He goes, well, I brought it here because I, I want them to check something out on it. And I said, well, what time was your appointment for? And he said, well, I don't have an appointment. And this is a small town. We don't need appointments here. They should get on top of it. And I told them I was in a hurry and they need to. And... I said, well, I've been here since 9 o'clock, 9.30. He goes, oh, you must be hopping, man. I said, no, 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 no. You know, I... Takes as long as it takes. They're, they're busy. I've been watching them work. And he goes, well, that's, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. You shouldn't have to sit that long. And over the course of the next 30 minutes, uh, he got madder and madder. And finally, he just stormed out. I'm not going to take this kind of stuff. I'm leaving. And uh, he got really mad, really angry. And for I don't know what reason. <laughs> so as I was sitting there thinking after he stormed out, I said, uh, one of the things that I found that caused me the greatest degree of stress in my life was expectations. I mean, there are certain expectations you should have. Like, if I dropped a pen, gravity would make it fall to the ground. You know, if... But, for the most part, we tend to set expectations that aren't really based in reality. We... We... we uh, we expect things to happen the way we think they should be instead of the way they actually are. And when what happens doesn't concur with your expectation of what should have happened, it causes frustration. Frustration rapidly turns into aggravation. Aggravation turns into anger. Anger turns into to stress. And stress ultimately defeats you. You carry that with you all day. It, it flavors everything you do for the rest of the day. So when we set up false expectations, we are setting ourselves up to fail. If we go in with an understanding that it takes as long as it takes, it is what it is, if it's beyond my control, I can't have an expectation of something that's beyond my control. I came in with no no uh, appointment this morning. But I knew, because I had no appointment, that they would see me when they could. And and they are. They're, they're taking good care of me. My car's in there. They're working on it right now. You know, and it's only noon, give or take. I, I mean, of course, I'm in a unique position where I'm not a busy person. I'm not an important person. So I don't have places to be and things to do that I can afford to get angry about when things don't meet my expectations. But I came here fully expecting an expectation that it, they would do what I asked them to do in a reasonable time. And I don't really know what a reasonable time was. I told them 
that I had to pick up my daughter at 20 after 2, and they said, oh, we'll get you out way before then. So now I have an expectation, and it's one that they've, they've in control of, that come hell or hot water, they're going to make my car available to me to go pick up my daughter. So I'm happy. You know, I had nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Their coffee is delicious. They got free bottles of water. And uh, I watched Price is Right with uh, Drew Carey and Jay Leno. It was amazing, funny. But I have sat here peaceful, happy, enjoying it, talking with everybody that walks by. A little girl came up and told me I looked like Santa Claus, and I talked to her for 15 minutes. And I've just had a great time. Um, unlike the fellow that just stormed out of here, I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to go out and I'm going to just get more shit accomplished. And uh, But it's because of those expectations that he's going to have a rotten day. And he's going to be upset that he didn't get what he wanted done on his car. Not only that, but he's going to badmouth to everybody who talks to how miserable the service here at Dodge is. And they're actually phenomenal people. They're really attentive. They do a good job. So I'm, I'm really glad that during the course of the experiences in my life that I was able to wean that myself off of it. Expectations are also another thing that cripples our personal relationships. We get involved with someone and we like who they are, but then we start building ideas and expectations of who they could be or who they should be. And as the relationship progresses and you expect them to change as the relationship progresses. You expect them to start being the person you think they should be or you know they could be. And when they stop, when they don't meet those expectations, when they don't become that person you think they should be or could be, you start getting frustrated and you start getting aggravated and angry and it starts to turn into resentment. And when resentment sets in, and you're resenting them for not being the person you think they could be. And uh, they have no idea why you're upset with them. They have no idea why all of a sudden you're sour, you're, you're frustrated, you're angry. And that ruins relationships. When we, when we accept people for who they are, and we have open, honest dialogues, and... and we don't expect them to change. We don't expect them to be what we think they should be. We allow them to be the person they want to be. And we have to have a certain degree of acceptance. So we need to kind of wean our unrealistic ex ex expectations. We need to come away from those and say, I have to accept that the things beyond my control are going to happen as they happen. They're going to be the way they are. That person who I want to be somebody else is going to be the person they are. I need to look at the things that I like about them and hold on to those. Don't wish they had more things to like about them. Understand them. And I think in trying to understand them, you become to accept even more of them. You begin to see the little things that made them who they are that maybe you subconsciously fell in love with or you subconsciously admire. But when we strip away those false expectations, our relationships become pure. They become honest. And I just love... That was scary, man. That was, automatic lights are trippy as hell. Whew. I'm glad my last two cups of coffee were decaf or I'd be really wigging out. Um... <laughs> Where I, oh, so they become beautiful. They become open, honest things. And, and, and you learn and you go out and explore together. And, and by sharing the things you like, sharing the things you like to do and sharing your ideas with them, you're not causing them to be different, but they're becoming, they're coming to understand you more. And like, like everything, everything we do causes a reaction. If we're angry at someone, they become angry. If we're happy with someone, they become happy. If we give positive energy, positive energy comes back. So 
in that sharing, caring relationship where we've stripped our expectations away and we just have that, I love you not because I expect you to love me back or what you can do for me, but I love you because you are the person you are. You're a unique individual. And the parts of you that I don't have complete me as the parts of me that you don't have complete you. I don't want my parts to be in you. Well, <laughs> except the obvious, you know, parts. <laughs> don't tell your kids I said that. Our relationships become great. So throughout life, throughout our lives, our expectations have been the number one cause of our own anger and generally suffering. And do we continue to be alone because we go after people that we know can be different than what they are and we expect them to change when we get involved with them. And then when they don't meet that, it becomes, oh my God, I gotta get rid of this guy. He doesn't love me. He's not willing to be the person I think he is. She's not willing to be the person I think she is. And we tend to poison everything with those false expectations. So whenever you get a chance, have that inner dialogue and say, is this expectation something I can legitimately expect? Is it a law of physics? Is it a, a naturally occurring phenomenon? There are expectations. I expect myself to get up in the morning. That's a valid expectation. We have to strip those. So, too late to make a long story short, try to avoid unrealistic expectations. Try to avoid not accepting people for who they are or what they are. Just just look and, and cherish the uniqueness of everybody and don't expect them to fit a mold. Don't expect them to be this. Don't expect the business to meet your requirements. Don't expect traffic to go. I mean, that expectation that as soon as the light turns green, the guy in front of you is going to go causes anger in a lot of people. If we have that inner dialogue and says, where am I going to go in that 1.4 seconds it takes Joe Schmuckatelli up there to realize the light screen and go, is nowhere. But if I honk and I project that anger, that rage, that resentment I'm feeling through my horn, I startle that guy. I've, I make him feel embarrassed. I cause him to be other than calm and peaceful. He'll carry that wherever he goes. And what I've done is poisoned the social stream of consciousness by it sending my anger out and affecting someone directly with my anger and we can't afford to do that so one of my little tips avoid unrealistic expectations and I think you'll find your life to be a lot happier a lot easier a lot less stress that's a Zen Road Trucker for today have a good one